simply enough. I've gained a stone since you left me. These once protruding bones softened by someone else's love. Because you did leave me, as I always knew you would. Not in body. You still sat there, limbs folded, never splayed apart, closed for your own protection, and your heart neither as open as I once hoped. Mind overloaded, disconnected from all that spiritual information you so tirelessly read, yet somehow always forgot to process. I know because I felt it, I heard the words so often as empty as the love you thought you shared. You plucked pieces from me and like Robin Hood but disingenuously you handed them out to those you thought might care yet you never remembered to replenish me. But you were right in part when you claimed I tried to please you. Me, yes me who for 20 years before was adored for being nothing more special than just me. I took advice on how to wear my hair wore cotton cardies to soften, covered these angry tattoos and threw these boots in the corner because you said they looked too hard and I was too hard and you? Rarely hard enough. The irony, it almost makes me smile. I should have been quieter, more demure, less offensive, more spiritual, love the environment more and you less, let my hair grey naturally yet still look young, make patience my thing and spontaneity yours but of course only ever on your terms, and kept my needs inside myself, not lost my temper yet dropped my guard, be vulnerable, be awake and be open to your journey but never let you see me cry so I I let you leave me like this, pretending there is no fight, and in times like now when all I want to do is reach you, I remind myself of how you made me feel. You call it projection, my socialised condition of ownership, lust and need. But I've talked around this subject, and I've processed this bullshit, and in everyone else's world, mate, it's just called reality. So I write instead, and I write and write and write, and I write until the flesh upon these bones begins to shine, like it did before, I was simply not good enough.